But if this next patch is kind of disappointing, then I just don't know where I'm going to be at with content. And I'll update you guys as it continues. And since 2024, I've noticed a lot of trends. And I feel like we've taken many steps back, which is why I'm making this video. And I've done it a couple times in the last year or so, whenever I thought the economy got into a bit of a rough shape. And I want to give some pros and some cons. I think there's actually been some steps forward, but just like every time there seems to be steps forward followed by a few steps back. It, again, it doesn't even affect me. I feel like I just see the player base kind of declining, uh, getting frustrated with this. So I just wanted to bring it up again. I brought it up about five months ago. If there's no changes in the next five months, I will do this again until there is eventually change. I love this game. I care about this game deeply. I enjoy making content on this game. I just want everyone to enjoy it as much as I do. Conclusion, guys, just trust. Trust Team Second Dinner. I genuinely believe that they're gonna pull through here they're going to find more ways to incorporate tokens they're only just getting feelings out for this and that's exactly why i'm trying to make this video so that by some chance people can start talking about it they become aware and they can receive this kind of feedback um, so just have faith in the team this game is fantastic it's only going to get better new cards is exciting token shops are exciting we just need to tweak the numbers i believe that's that's my take on this Yo, what's up everybody? It's Drew Barry. Uh, we got a bit of an announcement, a channel update video. Kind of, I haven't really done this before, but here we go. It made sense to do it this time around because, you know, there was a Reddit post that was going around. There was a lot of messages on Discord, Twitter, even YouTube comments uh, asking, where'd you go? Where's Drew Barry? Where's the Marvel Snap content? Where's the Snapper Pass? Is Drew Barry still playing Marvel Snap, etc.? And what I'm going to try and do in this video is, one, I'm not really going to edit it. We're just going to kind of blast some of my thoughts, where I'm at with Marvel Snap, what's next for the channel and answer some of those questions that I've been seeing going around because I think a lot of it is getting directed the wrong way. So I kind of want to steer the ship a little bit and give some insight as to why I have quit Marvel Snap. So the first question I see is, are you still going to be making Marvel Snap content? And the answer is no. Are you going to possibly make Marvel Snap content in the future? Are you just taking a break? Is it a two, three month break? And then you're going to come back, and bam, this big celebration. No. Also, no, I don't plan on ever really coming back. And the answers to this aren't really malicious. It's more just a bit of a life change for me and that I'm breaking away from something that I've been doing for almost two years now. Uh, and I want to just try something new. I'm in a fortunate space space, I would say that I have a full-time job and that this is just a hobby. So I can really just focus on the games that I have the most interest in. And for the last two years, that has been Marvel Snap. I think I stopped when I pretty much lost full interest in the game. And any time before that, I was still interested in Marvel Snap. I still wanted to make content in Marvel Snap. I was still playing it enough that I felt like it was still honest of me to create content for Marvel Snap. And now I'm at a point where if I was to make a video like a snapper pass on an upcoming card or anything like that, that would be totally disingenuous and not fair to my audience, to my viewers. Um, because if I'm not playing the game, how could you take my word for it? And I don't really stream the game a whole lot nowadays. Uh, so nobody could really know if I'm playing the game or not. I could totally bullshit you guys for the next six months and keep making videos on upcoming cards. And you'd have no idea if I actually dropped the game or not, right? Um, but the truth is I stopped playing uh, after the last video I made, which was a star rating video for the upcoming cards. I thought, you know, uh, why not? I'll shoot my shot and put a preview of uh, star ratings for the next cards. And then I pretty much just dropped the game. And I was like, I'm not going to make a snap or pass after that because, well, we're not playing. Which brings me to why did we stop playing Marvel Snap? And this is where I think a lot of people are using the game as the scapegoat as to my decision making, when really that's not necessarily the case. Yes. I have been frustrated with some of the directions, some of the monetization in Marvel Snap. I've made that very public. I've made many videos on it uh, over the course of my channel over the last two years. Whenever I felt like it was deserved, I would put out, you know, you could call it a rant. Some people want to call it complaining, you know, constructive criticism. I honestly don't care what label you put on it. Wherever I had a buildup of feelings or frustrations that were also shared with my community, I felt as though it was not necessarily my job, but a responsibility of mine to kind of uh, lay that out 
to the public and hopefully someone hears it or agrees or just or disagrees and lets me know why and then I would try to take that and you know put myself in their shoes and I think a lot of people are still enjoying Marvel Snap and I think that's awesome because the biggest thing I, I want people to take away this game is amazing Marvel Snap is one of the best games I've ever played. I played it for like two years, like all the time. That, that's unheard of. I, I liked it so much that I decided to make content for the game, which I've never done in my history of gaming ever. So, and, and it wasn't just like some money grab opportunity. People got to understand, I have a job. This is a hobby. This has never been about money. Never. I wouldn't stop making Marvel Snap content if this was about money, <laughs> okay? Like that makes no sense. Um, but you know, this game, I've had so many good times engaging with the community, streaming the game, making videos, interacting with other streamers. Uh, it's, it's just been all around amazing. And then the development team, people are so quick to go to them, right? And just cut at their throats. But really, a second dinner is incredible. They made this awesome game. Yeah, okay, so they make some monetization interesting choices, let's go ahead and say, which doesn't always, you know, work out well with the community. And, you know, people drop, people leave. And, and that's just natural. That's just going to happen. Um, could could they be better? Sure, of course. But it's not it's not the reason I'm stop, I've stopped playing Marvel Snap when I've decided to stop content. It's maybe that'd be like 20% of the reason, okay? The biggest reason is that I'm just more interested in playing some other games, switching it up, you know? I, and I want to make content on other stuff. I think it'd be fun to explore and try and see if you guys enjoy it and want to hang out with me while I do it. I mean, that's that's kind of where my passion is at. Like, I enjoy content creation. I still want to make content, okay? Like, I think a lot of people are going to think, RIP, I'm out of here, which fair, I understand if you're only here for the Marvel Snap stuff. Um, but if you just enjoy hanging out with me and just any content or whatever, like, the next one up for me is Marvel Rivals. Now, I know. A lot of people are hesitant, not into that sort of thing. I totally understand. But I I don't know much about the game other than the week that I had to play it. And, and, and let me tell you, I enjoyed it so much. That one week was like the most fun I've had in gaming for such, such a long time. I wanted to make videos every day on like the characters. I was too busy playing the game. I literally was like, I can't be bothered to make a video because I just want to play Rivals. And maybe people think that's being a sellout, this, that, or the stupid contract that I did not sign, by the way. Whatever you decide to think about that statement that I just made, the only thing that I can tell you that is just genuinely honest is I had a lot of fun. And right before that all dropped and that went live and whatnot, um, I had kind of taken a break from Snap and I knew this alpha was coming up. So I was like, okay, I'm going to play this and maybe it's not going to be very fun and maybe I'll want to go back to Marvel Snap. That's just not the case. I haven't played in a month. I don't even really care to open up the app or play a game. It's just, I'm just not interested right now. That's just the honest truth. So what I'm trying to say is that I want to play some Rivals. So I'm going to make some content on Rivals. There's no secret sauce behind it, secret reasoning, money, he's out for money, and he's going to jump ship to another game. No, it's literally just a matter of what's fun, going to play that. If there's something else that's fun, I'm going to play that. It's just how it is. Right now, I'm interested in Rivals. So I understand that that might leave a bit of a void in your content watching experience because maybe you just, you know, were religiously watching Snapper Pass videos from old Drewberry here. Well, I'm here to try and fill that void with some other content creators that are amazing, that are worth checking out, all right? The first one is Guest right behind me here. Guest literally makes similar videos to Snapper Pass, okay? There's their previews, their reviews, all about the new upcoming cards. Great to check out. And then a lot of tournament coverage, which is really interesting to hear if you want some high level Marvel Snap gameplay with analysis behind it. So I definitely recommend checking out Guest. And then on top of that, I also want to give some shout outs to some bigger creators that have personally helped me out that you guys wouldn't really know about uh, how they've helped me because it's kind of behind the scenes stuff. Um, a, a glaring ob obvious answer is Alex. Alex has been a huge help. Uh, he had me jump on the Snapchat, which was super kind of him to just ask me to be on. I got to be on there twice, which was sick. It was such a good time. I love talking about Snap with Alex. But on top of that, what you don't see behind the scenes is how he's helped me just like deal with the stress of like trying to put out content while dealing with life, like a full-time job and family and stuff like that. And uh, Alex knows that better than anyone. Uh, 
I can't believe he's literally a full-time teacher and I, and my partner is a teacher and she has a really difficult time. Like it is crazy that he does that with all the content that he puts out and how active he is in the community. Um, truly an inspiration. And then on to, another one is Molt. So when I had like 200 subscribers, Molt reached out to me and was like giving me props on my videos and my thumbnails. I was like, what? The Molt's like this massive creator and he's reaching out to little old me. Like, this is crazy, dude. It was so motivating to, to, to just get that message. And he's always been kind, like throughout, like I've just like hit him up and he'll just be super responsive and, and, and help me out whenever he can. Uh, another one that's been super helpful is Binks. Binks and I kind of started around the same time, but Binks really took off. He was doing so well with his videos and deckless brewing. Um, and he's just, he's just always been a bro. He's just always been there. He's been, you know, helping me out with restream, trying to dual stream to Twitch and YouTube and just always been jumping in my chats when I'm streaming and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I, I just always have a great time with Binks and I'm super thankful for uh, everything he's done for me. And then, oh gosh, there's there's so many. I feel like I'm going to miss out on some now because I'm just doing this off the top of my head. Um, Regis reached out to me before. That was crazy because like I knew Regis from Hearthstone, so that was really inspiring. Um, yeah, the list the list goes on. I apologize if anyone's reached out that I haven't uh, uh, mess or talked about here today. <laughs> um, and then another one's STG. You guys got to check out STG about all the variants. Um, man, he's just always been there. When I was at the Crater Clash by Kawa, Kawa was awesome. He hasn't uh, been doing any Marvel Snap content anymore. Uh, but that was such a fun experience to go to New York, be in that tournament, meet everybody. And uh, Tex just through and through been just um, helpful, kind throughout, jumping into the, ch into the streams um, and just, you know, pushing out anything I've been doing with this change to rivals and stuff. He's been supportive of it. Another one is Boot. So Boot also doesn't, I don't think Boot does a whole lot of Marvel Snap content nowadays, uh, but let's find out. I think he's still doing a little bit and some Rivals was mixed in and some awesome other stuff. So Boot's been super nice. He's been shouting me out on Twitter. Boot and Brad, Brad as well. Um, they do podcasts together right there, Snap on Ego. Definitely recommend checking it out. I've been on that before as well. So many podcasts, so many fun experiences with friends. And that's another thing that excites me about Rivals is that like literally in my short time in Rivals, I was able to hang out with a lot of creators that I never really got to mingle with beforehand. And it was really fun. Because it's a team-based game, whereas Marvel Snap is very, you know, it's just 1v1, and it's hard to kind of collaborate on certain things. So, yeah, I'm just uh, really grateful for being able to hang out with all these uh, awesome creators. And you guys got to check them out. There's also a few others that I think are really worth it. So Docti um, for Snap does like a... Like a buy or bust. So it's kind of similar to Snapper Pass. And hey, if anyone's using Snapper Pass or anything similar, fair game. I, I don't really care. Um, but it, 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 Docti does kind of something similar. You got the key synergies, the good and the bad of the upcoming cards. Man, it is so valuable to look at all these creators and watch their content and get their opinions. Um, and, and, and maybe from multiple sources so that you can come to a conclusion. I've never felt like mine should be the only Snapper Pass or the only opinion that you should listen to. And then you go ahead and get that card. That would make no sense to me. Um, you got to you know get a bunch of resources and, and make a decision that way. Um, so Docti is fantastic. I had somebody recently reach out to me who I didn't really know before, and that was Rez Snapper. So <laughs> look at you the thumbnail. Honestly, okay, you're going to see a lot of similarities and a lot of people might be like, hey, that's like just like uh, Drew Barry. I don't even care, dude. If anything, I find it very flattering that he's copied my style and that my style was interesting. People enjoyed it. You know, it was always off the cuff. I was just trying grinding, making graphics. Um, and you know, that definitely wore down on me when I was making content. So I'm looking forward to just maybe doing a little bit more gameplay focused streams and stuff. I'm still going to do the graphics though. I love that shit. So don't even worry about it for rivals and any other game moving forward, man. So yeah, bomb. You got to subscribe to the channel. I only just learned about him today. Literally messaged me before made the four hours ago, made this video, uh, asking for permission. If you copy my style, and I said, no problem. So you got to subscribe guys. You got to subscribe to all these uh, awesome creators, awesome small creators. And I'm, man, I'm only touching the surface, but let's, if, if anyone's still listening, here's another reason why I, uh, I stopped kind of making content. There's a lot of creators that I was friends with and there's a lot of uh, real life friends and just generally a lot of my berries, a lot of viewers that have commented and been like, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see you still making content, but I, I dropped the game a long time ago. I haven't played Marvel Snap. 
a lot of the people that I started this up with aren't playing anymore, and it is a bummer. Milky was one of my good friends. You probably don't even know who Milky Snap is. I don't think it's I think it's been over a year since he's made a video. Um, but man, I I, I was I was good friends with Milky, and uh, I really liked his content. He was one of the ones that I would watch like all the time. He was really smart with deck building, and uh, and he he just stopped playing with f fair play, fair play. He just uh, he dropped the game. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. But I, he just, he stopped content creation total. I, I'm still gonna keep going. Um, but yeah, there's just, there's just a lot of awesome creators, man. I'm trying to look through the list right now and make sure I don't miss anybody. Teddy, Teddy's amazing. Yeah. Anyways, I probably missed a ton and I apologize if I miss you guys. All right. All right. So that's pretty much all I got. I, I probably didn't answer all the questions. If you got a question, just let me know in the comments below. Um, to quickly summarize though, it's just my time with the game. It kind of expired. It just kind of ran up. It's, it's going to happen sooner or later. And if you guys are wondering how I'm doing, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm actually really happy and that I'm chasing something new. It excites me. And, uh, you know, I want to stream some other games, hang out with you guys. Let me know what you'd like to see me play. Um, but for now, we're pretty much rivals focused. I'm just so stoked for that game. I can't wait. I'm going to keep you guys updated with any news if you're interested. Any berries who stick around, people who stay subscribed, honestly, I appreciate you so much. But I totally understand if you guys got to go. It, you know, it breaks my heart to see my channel just tanking right now. Uh, but I get it. I get it. I get it. And my basically it just fuels me, man. It's it's got me fired up to just make better and better content to just surprise people. Um, that's the goal. That's where I'm at right now. So I, I'm in good spirits. I hope this doesn't seem like a bummer. I love Marvel Snap. This is a fantastic game, but I'm just, I'm done for now, okay? And uh, we'll see what happens in the future. So thank you so much for watching this video, watching any of my content in the past, watching content in the future. I hope you guys stick around. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll catch you guys next time.